The Spirit of Competition. Hi everybody, this is Chief Francis from Filipino Martial Arts School and Wack Wack Company. And today we're going to talk about the spirit of the competition. Now, I've shared with you guys in the past why it is important for a fighter and for school to, to, to offer competition to your students. But today we're going to talk about the spirit of the competition. When I'm talking about the spirit, it's just like when we're talking about the spirit of the law. When the law was written, it was written for a specific purpose what was his intended goal so today we're going to talk about the spirit of competition why was it even created well from what i understand before uh pcaf or wake up or i, I think he, uh, sorry, before that was he called narafil um the only way for a, a filipino martial artist to test their skill was to to uh go huego todo, huego todo which is Loosely translated to death matches, right? Um, but Wego Togo means all out. So they're going an all out fight into those into those competition. And when when you know, so uh, there's challenges and there's contracts that are being signed so that there's no retaliation from somebody's family. But it is basically essentially a death match. The problem with that is is that people get seriously seriously injured. And even though, so even though that one person might come out victorious, but that's not always a guarantee. You might, you might unalive your opponent, but a few days later, you might be unalive from the injuries that you sustained. So what, that becomes problematic because now, how, you know, how do you pass on that skill to somebody else? How do you pass on the knowledge that you learned from that batch to the next generation of fighters? Now you might be wondering, no. If I was really, if somebody was really that good, then they shouldn't have any injuries. Realistically, folks, the person that you're, if you're going to do a Wego Todo match, you're going to, you, you, and then the person accepts, is because that person believes that their skills is pretty high up there as well. So most likely, there might be a slight uh, discrepancy between the two, but it's not going to be a major discrepancy. The very least, and this is what I tell a lot of people who challenges me, who wants to fight me, I always tell them, look, you can probably be me. I'm, I'm not denying that. I've been beaten before. I've got my ass handed to me before. But the very least, the very least, is that you're not going to walk away unscathed. You're going to you're going to be walking with a limp, or you're, 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 there's going to be a scar. There's going to be something. And in, in reality, that's what's most likely was happening when it came to those Huego Tojo or death matches. That somebody, like no, nobody, no, like nobody really came out as a clear winner, right? It was, it, you know, it was very evenly uh, fought battle. And secondly, um, because of that, you know, we real fighters know that there's a lot of, you know, X factors that, that can cause a win or a loss. And it's not 100% on skills. Now, skills are cre critically important. I'm not denying that. What I'm just saying is that there's, you know, if, if, a, if a person won because they tripped on something, that's just a luck of the draw, right? But uh, at the end of the day, when you're fighting somebody, if you're challenging somebody to a Juego Toto match and that person accepted, both these fighters believe that they have high skills and most likely they're pretty, pretty evenly matched. And that... Um, Nobody is going to walk away unscathed. So that becomes very problematic, ladies and gentlemen, because now how do we move the art forward if the people who are learning how to use, or who, who are practicing this and using this keeps dying? How do, we, how, do we, how do we move this forward? This is what the spirit of the, this is the spirit of the competition. The reason why uh, FMA tournaments were born, because we needed a way to show off our skills and still be able to go to work the next day, right? So that's that to me is the most important thing. So the reason why that uh, the, so the reason why the spirit of the competition is to test our FMA skills and to test the the if if what we're what we have been practicing and what we've been learning is indeed effective, right? So then that's that's the spirit of the competition. The spirit of the competition is not about hurting your your opponent. The spirit of the competition is not about destroying your opponent. Or, you know, honestly, even not even winning. Because I, I know many of you, like myself, I learned a lot just as much as I did from my losses as I did my wins. And sometimes I learned more from my losses. So again, this, it, because I understand that the spirit of competition is to show off and, you know, and, and, and evolve my FMA skills, I, I need to learn from those, from my mistakes as well as, well as from my, my victories, right? So 
when you are um, when you're competing with the person in front of you, you're not trying. You're not supposed to try to kill them. I can't speak for everybody. Some people go in there and they just want to destroy their opponent. But it's all about showing off your skill. It's all about showing off your ability to fight, to defend, to counter, and to move around. That's the spirit of competition. This is why the competition was even born. So that you can test your, comp your, your skills, your FMA skills, and, and be able to go to work the next day. I don't know. Do you agree that this is the reason why? This is the spirit of the competition? Please comment down below. And if you're looking for a school that, that, that um, embraces the spirit of competition, right? Please visit us at www.fmaschool.com and fill out the Get Started and Get Started as soon as possible. Until next time, this is Chief Francis from Filipino Martial Arts School. Peace out, God bless, and keep swinging them sticks.